Hi there. Welcome to Televised Chat. Now, you may be wondering why I'm brown and anchoring a major television program. Well, that's probably due to affirmative action, so unfortunately for you, I'm terribly uncharismatic. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is our obligatory female media personality. Hi. I eat wholemeal bread because it's healthier. <laughs> Anyone who disagrees with me is a chauvinist pig. Good job, bro. Good job, good job. She achieved first-class honours in journalism, but uh, we only had to see a photo of her to offer her a job. Jordo, where have you been, mate? Oh, sorry, guys. I was caught up in the cyclone up in Brisbane. That swept me over to Darwin, so, yeah, that's why I'm late. How come you're not covered in water? Um, the new hand dryers in the bathrooms are pretty powerful. <laughs> you quintessential larrikin, you. Now, um, unfortunately, ratings have been slipping due to the... Internet. So teams of rich network executives who are completely in touch with mainstream audiences have decided upon doing this. <laughs> Looks like ratings aren't the only things that are going up, guys. <laughs> so now in real news, millions of people have died in some war. Bushfires are killing people. The government is totally broke. Corruption's happening somewhere. Um, and some other bad news. Done. Yeah. Well, now it's time for the good news. It's for the entertainment scoop with Armando. Are you there, man? Hello, Armando. Hola, Don Andar. So apparently you've uh, got yourself a bit of an addiction, Armando. Is that, is that correct? So my Australian friend asked me to try these Tim Tam things. Honey, I took one bite. Oh my god, I am in love. Tim Tams are fabulous. Get over here, mate. We've got plenty of them for you. Oh, I've eaten three boxes of Tim Tams just today. And trust me, I usually don't eat boxes, honey. That's <laughs> heat. <laughs> but uh, something's going on with Kimmy K. What happened with her? Mmm, the headlines just don't stop for Kimmy K. She is at it again. What has she done this time? Well, it looks like she wore a dress. But that dress was a no-no in my books, and you people need to know about it. Now, look, you guys know how much I love Kimmy K, but she looks like a menopausal gorilla in that number. Mmm, Kanye, you need to control your woman. Now, look, I ain't saying she a gold digger, but she ain't messing with no broke black man. Mm. <laughs> I love you down under. <laughs> This just in. A family has lost their puppy. We now cross live to the scene where the puppy was last witnessed. I got into journalism to break the big stories and change the world. Now here I am with Stephen Michelle. Michelle, tell us about little Rex. Well, our poor little Rexy got lost and... Just horrible things like this don't happen to upper-class attractive families like us. The rate of puppy loss has increased at a staggering 4,000% per day. Violent Lebanese gangs are believed to be the root of this and every other problem. The current government continues to sidestep over the issue, but for beautiful white families like Steve, Michelle and Rexy here, the question still remains. When will they be able to live in peace? Back to you. Shocking news there. Yeah, that brought a tear to my eye. And Armando brings a tear to my eye with laughs, so let's get back to you, man. Are you still there? Oh, my God! Mm, guys, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, my friend. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you keep that up, mate, and you're the one that's going to be looking like the gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we love our jobs.